prepared media plates and quality talent. The following presentation is by yours truly and Aquaplates Prepared Media Plates. Why are we counting colonies on a prepared media plate? Well, in microbiology, a colony is a body that is formed from millions of individual bacteria of the same type or strain. Once a prepared media plate is inoculated, each individual bacteria should grow into a colony of the same kind. Bacteria colonies are almost always visible to the naked eye. Some prepared media plates have special chromogens in the agar that highlight target bacteria. The E. coli to the right are highlighted in magenta because the modified NTEC has a special chromogen in it which brings that color out when they metabolize the chromogen. Prepared media plates in colony morphology. Colony morphology refers to the shape, texture, size, color, odor, and really anything that you can use to identify the factors of the bacteria colony themselves. Knowing the different colony morphologies of bacteria is one of the key elements for analysts in determining what type of bacteria they're really looking at. For example, fecal coliform bacteria using an MFC media by standard methods 9222D will appear dark blue as in the example here. That's because they metabolize the aniline blue dye that's found in the MFC media. Overcrowding of prepared media plates can happen and can cause some problems when culturing microbes. Since each colony is growing at an alarming rate, they consume all the food as it is encountered on the plate. If colonies start to grow into each other or overlap, then there may be too much competition and colony morphologies as well as recovery rates may vary. Hey, you're in my space. Too many colonies on a prepared media plate can cause an inhibitory response and reduce the amount of recovery you might normally have. Waste from colonies, as well as competition for food and space, can reduce the overall colony count on a plane. Also, if bacteria growth is too dense with overlapping colonies, it may be difficult to get accurate counts. It can get pretty messy on some plates. Fortunately, there are tools available to help us with colony counting. On the left below, it's a Quebec Darkfield Colony Counter. I've used this for years and it's a great tool to help you quickly and easily count colonies on a plate. Sometimes you can use a fancy instrument like the one over here and it will actually count the colonies for you. You gotta be gritting me. Yeah, that's right. Membrane filters have a grid on them to help you count. You can even count squares down, then over like an L and multiply to get a pretty good estimate of the colonies on a plate. These filters catch the bacteria and fit right in the prepared media plate. They're usually made of a cellulose ester material. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this short presentation and thanks for viewing our show. For more information on prepared media plates, please visit www.aquaplates.com and if you'd like my free report that reveals the four crazy easy actions the pros use to pass their DMRQA and micro every time, just click on the link below or cut and paste it into your browser to get your free report. Thanks very much. Good luck and happy counting.